And the last time I came actually was to Balaniga together with the president. So nice to see you all. Thank you very much for having me. Okay. 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 Our media colleagues here are from Tangloba, Nicol Bayan City, and Katalogan City. And uh, representing Quad uh, Quad Media. I am Romel Rotor from Action Valley of Katalogan. Ako lang yung mga kapakyana. Anyway, kani kani na kasi ko during your message, uh, you mentioned something about the performance of. Uh, Ilocos Norte in reducing poverty allegation to single digit. Uh, may we possibly ask governor if uh, uh, how did you do it and uh, possibly share uh, your programs that can be duplicated or copied or adapted here in your province in Sahara. Yes. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, alam naman natin na uh, yung uh, kahirapan ay napakataas dito sa Region 8. Talaga nahuhuli tayo kung para sa Region 6, Region 7, medyo bulela tayo talaga. And we can't play with all of Yolanda. It's been a combination of things, a great deal of neglect, and uh, perhaps a lack of vision and planning. So, kawawa na tayo dito, lalo na sa summer area. And for that reason, uh, like you said, I'd like to share some of the experiences with the small things, despite the fact that it's a very small province and very, very far from the city. Na taas namin yung uh, level of employment. And uh, most of all, ang secreto is keeping uh, basic commodity prices down. Ang presyo ng uh, pagkain masyadong mataas ngayon. So, pura, kaki yung, yung bugas, yung... Uh, uh, canning is very, very expensive. Uh, rice has become an extremely expensive commodity. And even the NFA rice has hardly come in. And they're always out of stock. It's just too little to lay a uh, profound lack of foresight and uh, projection. So, important uh, We need to keep food prices down, gasoline prices down. Wala na oil deregulation. Wala na oil regulation ngayon. So that's a bit of a problem. In time ng tatay ko, may oil stabilization fund, may PNOC, may stockpiling, may kung ano-anong ginagawa para hindi naman tama sa liig lahat ng, uh, ng ating mga toda, ng ating mga habal-habal, lahat ng PUVs. At least may laban tayo kung tumaas ang gasolina. And uh, yun, medyo supported pa yung peso nun. Now the peso uh, is been allowed to float, and uh, and I think uh, perhaps it's time to take a more activist role in all of this. So, uh, the key really is to keep prices down for food, because as we know, sa Mahira, ang presyo ng bigas is up to 30% of total budget. Pero syempre, pag mayama, it's a small thing. Pero pag sang kahit sang kaba, it's a really big deal. So this is very important. And I hope that we will also learn this in, uh, in uh, summer and be able to apply this, uh, these lessons that we learned. We also learned that it's very important to get over our biases against the poor. There's sometimes an attitude, even in the DSWD, na ang uh, mga pobre talagang tamad or medyo bobo or marumi. Parang nakakasakit naman ang damdam pag narinig yun. Pinapos lang sa pagkakataon. Pinapos lang sa swerte. So, sa kasamaang palat na pinanganak na mahirap. Pero ganun pa man, alam natin na napakadaming magugaling, masipag, kulang lang sa oportunidad. So, we need to give them a break. We uh, identify the poor also very, very uh, detail, in great detail. 
to make sure na sino yung talagang biblical po na tawag namin kasi uh, yung matatanda na bed reader o kaya yung mga PWD wala nang pag-asa samantalang yung uh, nasa third or fourth year ng college konting tulong na lang ay eh, magiging graduate na yan so nawala na lang ng tatay bigla naging uh, mahirap so there are many instances where just a little help will really make a big difference Uh, hello, guys. <laughs> I just want to go to national, uh, especially on the recent announcement of Senator Luxon regarding the free charter change in the Senate. Um, what is your opinion, uh, Governor, on the charter change, especially on the aspect of federalism? Is not to have your opinion, you, Madam, uh, I'm also as an endorser of federalism under the Duterte administration. Ay, ke mo ka eh, talagang let's move forward. O oh, eh, yung mga outrage, outrage politics, tigilan na yan. At least may effort, pinag-uusapan natin. Pero syempre, hindi masyado maganda yung epekto. Pero at least napag-usapan at uh, tayo naman, dapat mag-move on na tayo. And take it as an opportunity to start discussing the real issues and open the debate on federalism. Uh, yung sinasabi ni Senator Ping na ready for cremation in the Senate. Malamang, masyadong repeat sa panahon. Kasi ngayon, ang uh, first item on the agenda is clearly the budget. So the budget will uh, require a great deal of time, possibly until November, traditionally. Eh, alam natin, October pa lang, wala ng quorum kasi kampanya na yan, not fine na yan. So medyo malapong siguro na uh, matiscuss pa yan this term. Perhaps in the next term, that will occur. But, um, for cremation, once and for all, baka naman medyo premature. Kasi sa palagay ko, there's a crying need for change. And uh, President Duterte is the real author of transformational change in our country. And he has the goodwill and the determination and courage to push it through. Palagay ko yung uh, nangyari sa atin, yung Bonsamora Organic Law, yung BOL. Isa na yun, no, nagpapakita na kaya niya talagang tutukan at uh, gagapalan. Ang kanyang tungkulin as uh, the great hope for change in the country. Thank you. Uh, may katanungan lang po ako, Gok. Uh, regarding sa itong uh, Uh, pinasa kong uh, sa, sa, uh, sa kongkiso ang uh, uh, train room na po, trabaho na nasa second and third final reading na sa house. Palagay ko po, uh, po sa opinion mo, mapapasa po ito. Train 2. Well, ang problema sa train 2 ay eh, hindi yung train 2, kundi yung train 1. Kasi lahat ng tao sinisisi yung train one na siya yung nagmataas ng inflation, nagmataas ng uh, presyo. Yun ang problema talaga. Yung train two mismo kung tutuusin ay eh, puro corporate income tax na sa ating-atin. Ang mga tayo siya na pakialam dyan. At uh, magbe-beneficyo pa yung mga small and medium scale industries. And uh, yung mga investors in Celsius naman, walang masyadong interest except uh, yun nga, ang kinatatakutan, baka mag-alis sa yung foreign investors sa mga PESA area. Pero yung problema talaga, yung trade one, kasi tama talaga sa lee. At nakita na natin, sa amin, no, sa Ilocos Norte, malaking bagay, dahil bumagsak talaga ang benta ng tabako, sumobrang mahal ng cigarette. Tapos sa uh, ating mga karating provincia dito sa Negros, kitang-kita yung bagsak rin ng uh, benta ng sugar, sugary drinks. And I think any sari-sari store owner will tell you that this is 43% sa tabako and uh, 21% of our sales. So that's been a really uh, big difference. So nakikita natin, at region 8, isa sa pinakamataas ang inflation. I think as early as uh, two months ago, nasa 5.5% na ang inflation. Mataas na mataas ang presyo dito, mas matindi pa kesa sa ibang lugar. And now it's officially nationwide at 5.7. So that's a very high inflation. It's important to really look at fiscal and monetary policy to make sure na hindi tuloy-tuloy ang pagtaas niyan. What can we do? Deflationary measures. Uh, certainly, we need to look into tarification that has mixed reviews kasi kinakabahan ng ating farmers na baka masyadong mura ang imported rice, hindi na sila makabenta. At uh, 
there are also issues that say that we should reduce the taxes on inputs, on farm inputs such as fertilizers, pesticides, and so on. And I think that's something that we should consider. Although they uh, don't want to reduce the taxes on meat and other food products. Kailangan siguro tignan yan. Whatever it is, I think it's important, as we learned in the poverty reduction effort of Ilocos Norte, to keep food prices down. Nakakatakot yan, kasi pagkutom ang tao kung ano-ano yung mayayari. Importante talaga na mababa ang presyo at uh, maraming pagkain ang may bigay. Ang uh, NFA importation, parang too little to late eh. Kasi biglang nag-import na lang, kasi kulang daw. Nung nag-import, sabi naman hindi na mababasa, hindi mababasa sa mga boats dahil, because uh, they said it was raining. And now they're telling us na such a huge amount of rice that was imported by the NFA, na bulok, kasi inulad, sufficient to feed 800,000 meals. Um, this kind of uh, uh, haphazard and inefficient uh, importation is not what's going to save us and uh, maintain food security. Kailangan mas may maayos, mas may projected, well-run agricultural and food policy ang Pilipina. So, so, sa tingin ko, nung tayo ng tatay ko, may kadiwa eh. Kung naaalala mo yun, 8 pesos sa isang na ganta. At that time, it's ganta. Wala pang kilo nun, nung tinitimbag nun. May isang salok, ganun, tapos tatakayan. So that was that was uh, very important. There was irrigation. The research and development was being done by the International Rice Institute in Los Banos, and uh, there were so many efforts to create farmers associations, samahan nayon and co-ops. Ngayon, parang bigla bigla na lang tayo ng ilos. Eh, masyado na late. Kokonti naman ng kayanin na hindi angkat. So it's really, really not very effective. I think uh, Secretary Pignol is doing his best, but uh, the entire bureaucracy for agriculture is so geared towards rice and corn that uh, many other foods are fallen by the wayside. And uh, in the meantime, rice and corn is uh, being treated as almost obsolete. Ibig sabihin na, uh, Gob, uh, itong uh, tulo trabaho, ma maapituhan talaga yung mga Pilipino, lalong-lalo na yung mga may hirap. Hindi ko alam, hindi ko yan ang, hindi yan ang sinasabi ko. Baliktad ang sinasabi ko, actually, I'm saying that train 2 will probably not impact that heavily on most Filipinos. As a matter of fact, it's revenue neutral. So it's not going to affect us that much. In fact, yung train 1, ang sabi nga, eh, 0.02% or something really marginal ang impact sa presyo. Kaya nga hindi natin maintindihan kung bakit nagtaas ang presyo ng ganito. For example, sugar. Yung asukal, bakit tumaas na ganyan? Eh, nasa 52 to 60 pesos na. Samantalang the whole world, unlike oil, the whole world is seeing a whole uh, new low in the price of sugar. It's very, very perplexing. So, ang sabi ng iba, sinasamantala daw yung train one, sinamantala ng uh, very ruthless traders, retailers, marami rin nagsamantala, and uh, masyado daw uh, hinayaan ang, pe ang piso. So it's quite complicated. There's so many factors. Kaya nga lang, maraming sinisisi lang yung trade. At ngayon, maraming na nasa Senado ayaw na sponsor dahil kinakabahan na very unpopular siya. At ang gimmick, ewan ko, sabi, papata na lang ito yung pangalan. Imbes na trade to, pangalanan lang daw ng trabaho, baka sakali hindi mahalata. Thank you. Quick. Okay. Uh, Reggie, uh, Governor, uh, Si Reggie po ako, ano, uh, mula po sa DYMS Action Radio. Gusto ko lang po itanong, actually po pinag-uusapan na po namin ito sa programa po namin with Justice Natura at Father Anilio Aquino. Doon po sa pangalaw po ninyo sa anti-political dynasty provision. Kasi po sa bagong draft po ng Federal Constitution, malinaw po na naka-stipulate po yung provision kumpara po sa Article 2, Section 26 na 1987 Constitution. Sa inyo pong pananawagob, ito po ba ay susuportahan po ninyo at do you think papasa po ba ito sa Kongreso? 
I think para rin ang position namin ni uh, Presidente Duterte, sabi nga ni Presidente Duterte, eh maganda yan, ang sa maganda. Ang problema, talagang uh, baka walang boto yan, number one. Ikalawa, parang ituturing class legislation naman sa iba. So, baka i-challenge pa yan. Although, yun nga, that's for that reason, gusto na nang i-gawing explicit provision sa Constitution. Uh, Palang question po, last question. Uh, Governor, uh, minsan po ay nababanggit po kayo ng pangusap. Yun siya nakaka, 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 nakaka bahala din. The fact that uh, no anti-dynasty provisions have been placed in, uh, have been <coughs> put in place in the largest democracies in the world. No? It doesn't exist in the U.S. Constitution. And uh, we see so many dynasties from the Kennedys to the Clintons to the Bushes. And um, I think it's a continue because the theory is na may election na bani. Hindi na ba yan na by inheritance or by legacy may election na man. But uh, there's no doubt that a familiar name in the Senate, for example, or running for the Senate, is a huge advantage to a candidate. Kasi may name recall na talaga. Last question ko po, Governor. Minsan po ay nababanggit po kayo ng Pangulo sa kanyang mga talumpati at gusto niya po kayong uh, uh, maging uh, katuwang po ng mga senador po natin sa, sa midterm election. Kayo po ba'y nakapag-decide na kung kayo po ilalahok sa 2019 senatorial election? Hindi pa klaro, pero nakapusapan na sa pamilya na baka ako ko next year dahil si Bongbong nakaputok ko, si Guido talaga yan sa protesta. He stuck with his protest and uh, ang lit-lit lang ng lamang. So, perhaps if pursue that uh, and not um, take the risk of uh, filing his candidacy kasi magiging nagan ko eh. So, nang pag-usapan, na akong tatakbo ko. I've been going around that, I've been traveling like crazy yesterday. Actually, I saw some of uh, this group in Maasin and uh, as well as in Cebu, in Cebu. So, I've been going around a bit and tomorrow I'll be in Batangas and so on. So, there's quite a bit of running around already. As you know, I've been in Ilocos for eight and a half years. Uh, I've largely stayed there, barely moved. So, kailangan talaga umikot kasi iba-ibang sitwasyon. Um, in uh, Metro Manila, in uh, Davao, and in Danao, iba talaga pinag-uusapan kesa sa, alimbawa, dito. Um, Siyempre, sa Tacloban, we're still very, very concerned um, about the failure to accomplish Build Back Better. Uh, as much as we like to say that we're back on our feet, the reality is that uh, there's still a lot of recovering to do. Malayo pa tayo, naunahan pa tayo ng goal. Isang totoo lang. So, kailangan talaga mag-double uh, mag time at uh, sobrang tagal na ng five years. Pati yung inyo, hindi pa natatanim eh. Ilang beses na nag-replant, di ba? So, Yolanda, Yolanda trauma pa rin. It's been a long, long time. Uh, 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 Governor, I'm Mr. Robert Matea. Actually, neighbor ako ni Ma'am, ni Madam Marcos, ni Milga Sarial. Sa tatlo ba? Neighbor kami. Ni neighbor kami ni Ma'am. Ma'am, neighbor sa tatlo ba? Sa tatlo ba? Totoo ba na magtatandim ka mo ni Mayor Sara Duterte? For President at saka Vice President. For President at Vice President. Ah, susunod pa tao na ito. Ah, Senador Lalay. Ano na yung partido? For 20 million lang for Senate. It's not yet sure. And Hinday Sara says she doesn't want to run for Senate naman. She wants to stay in the above talaga eh. In fact, yung hubo ng pagbabago is merely a regional party. So, hi, the group po ma'am. Huwag pong pagbabago, pwede pila ba? Ah, no, no, I'm not PDP. Ah, anong party mo? I have no headache, wala akong PDP. Anong party mo ngayon? Nationalista KPL has been a long-standing alliance. So, nationalista ang gala ko. And we've been endorsed by the group of the Pagmabago of Mayor Inday Sara. She's generously supported and endorsed us. As you know, it's merely an alliance, no? Yung kay Inday Sara. Yes. When you said, Ma'am Dramo, hindi pa nakakabangon ng Tacloban, so parang may pick ito kay Mayor Romaldis. No, I don't think so. I think the destruction in Tacloban was so 
uh, massive that uh, despite the efforts of all the local governments, kulang talaga ng tulong ng national, many of the international pledges haven't come through. That's the reality. They uh, really didn't get delivered. And uh, yun nga, napakadaming bulilyaso at politika along the way. Kawawa nga si na Mayor Romualde, si Rakairap si Alfred, si Rakairap si Martin, even Mayor Cristina. They're all struggling against this burden because the reality is the local governments can only do so much, but uh, at the level of mass housing, for example, or uh, mass replanting of coconuts and revitalizing the entire fisheries industry, they do their best and we continue to do our best as local government officials, but uh, there's a limit to what we can do. Pero ma'am, yung 50 billion, di na lang sa Marawi. 50 billion Yolanda doon na sa Marawi. Wala na sa Tacloban. Ah, uh, pala dito naman may effort naman na ah, uh, oh, ma hindi naman ganoon. <laughs> hindi naman ganoon na nangyari na literally yung pondo ng Yolanda pupunta sa Marawi. I think uh, another effort, another source of funds was found from Marawi. Uh, new revenue streams were found from Marawi. They didn't actually take away from Yolanda. Kasi yung sa Yolanda, imputed na sa housing at sa iba't iba pang construction at build, build, build. Thank you. Thank you. Um, as representing the youth sector, po, kung if ever maging senator po kayo, ano po bang maasahan ng mga youth bilang ikaw magiging mami namin sa senado po? Yung maasahan naman po ng mga mga kabataan sa ngayon galing kay Mami Amy Marcos. Well, I started as a youth leader from the very beginning and uh, in office party continues that tradition. We won the the Galing Po Award because of the uh, youth movement in Ilocos Norte. And uh, I fought very hard for SK to continue. Dahil uh, ang karamihan ng mga politiko, including President Duterte, for your information, wanted to abolish the SK. Sa pagkat yung SK walang ginawa, kundi Miss SK Beauty Pageant at walang katapusan liga ng basketball. Sobrang sinaya, kinus tayo, tinapon, ang 10% barangay development fund. So, medyo lahat nakikong doon. Ang gusto ng kar nakararami, eh talagang uh, tanggalin na yung SK. Pero kung naniniwala na ang kapatang kinakailangan talaga mag-aral at matuto sa mga sistema demokratiko. So, it's very important that they get involved very early. But, the question is, anong gagawin? Palagay ko, yung walang kamatayang tree planting, yung sinasabing disaster, parang hindi naman kaya ang kapataan yun. Except yun nga sa online uh, um, uh, notifications for disasters, kasi mabibig sila. Pero I think, ang importante sa kapataan, katulad namin yung panahon namin, i-address yung problema ng youth sector. Dati, yung problema ng youth sector sa amin, OSY, out of school youth, dahil napakarami talaga din nakakapag-aral. So lahat ginawa namin, employment, training, nag-redeploy pa kami hanggang sa abroad. Uh, kami una nagpapadala ng OFW sa abroad dahil, dahil nga sa, sa dami ng mga OSY. Um, ngayon, palagay ko, iba na yung problema. President Duterte has been extremely successful in bringing in investment. Pero yung job matching ang layo. Dahil nakikita natin, may mga mestra, may mga nurse. Hindi naman nakakaalis pang abroad o makakuha ng trabaho dito. Kailangan i-match sa ating mga jobs na available, which are construction jobs, equipment operator, welder, electrician, and so on. So we have to find a way to bridge that. And I think that's an SK uh, function. Ikalawa, nakikita natin that there's a national epidemic in teenage pregnancy, which is a real threat to uh, the health of the youth, the uh, 
families and uh, so on. So, important rin yun. Hindi naman nakikinig sa mestra, hindi naman tayo nakikinig bilang teenager, wala naman nun nakikinig sa mga, ma ma uh, mga nanay nila. So, siguro mas effective yung peer-to-peer -peer counseling. Sana matutong kabataan na magturoan at uh, magpayo sa isa't isa ng maayos kasi hindi nga hindi naman puso talaga yung nakikinig masyado sa mga guidance at kung sino-sino dyan, wala rin. Tapos, ikatlo, online activism is a very powerful tool. But it's also a uh, very nasty weapon in the wrong hands. Dahil yung cyberbullying, yung bashing, nakita natin yung bagong fenomeno ng teenage suicide na medyo dumadami. Dati hindi naman ganun. Wala naman ganun yung time ko. Pero ngayon na uuso na sobra talaga yung bashing na hindi nakakayangan ng kabataan. Alright. Madam, magandang hapon po. I am Ron Villardi po from uh, Star Radio. Actually, ita si Sipi Stola sa Star Radio po. Uh, mga siguro mga wala lang pala. May tanong lang po ako kasi follower niya rin po ako sa Facebook, sa YouTube. Nandun po ako sa ibang bansa. I'm just curious po na ano. Ipagpapatuloy niyo po ba ang uh, mga plinalo po ni Senator Bumbong Marcos regarding the pagpapalakas po ng ating mga internet system at saka yung mga solar energy, ipagpatuloy niyo po yung mga plano kung maging senator na po kayo? Well, uh, yung free wifi na asahan natin at sabi nila may bibid out na daw yung third telephone. So, kahit uh, hindi natin i-push yan, nasa agenda talaga ni Presidente Duterte yung free wifi. And um, hopefully, they finally iron out this free telco. Napakalag na eh. Yung ikatlong telco na papasok sa bansa. Uh, the other thing that you were saying is... The mga solar energy, lahat ng mga natural energies ko na... Renewable. Yeah, yeah. Pinalo ni Senador Bongbong Marcos. No, marami na kami sa ilo. Um, Nadagdagan di ha. Ang time ni Bongbong, mga 19 windmills lang. Nasa 300 na kami sa windmills. Tapos kinocombine na namin yung solar and hydropower. So, we're really in the clean and uh, renewable energy space. Active na active kami dyan. And I believe that's really important also for the rest of the country. Dahil ang mahal-mahal ng kuryente, hindi lamang sa summer at sa libre, kundi sa buong bansa. Tapos yung hydro pa na nasa Mindanao, ito talaga passive to sin to. Although they continue to say that coal is the cheapest, eh, marami rin mga renewable sources na pwede natin gamitin. The uh, solar panels have become cheaper and cheaper now. So, palagay ko, pati yung mga government buildings can afford na to put them in and make sure that we only use clean sources of energy. Last um, question. Energy continues to be a real issue sa atin. Dahil napakamahal ng kuryente. So, we need to explore as many as we can. Okay. Thank you. Maybe just as a closing, as closing remarks, may I just say that uh, masyado na nahuhuli ang uh, Region 8 sa napakaraming national development. Siguro panahon na na mas maingay tayo as mas agresibo sa national space. So kung matutuloy ako, sasabihin ko sa inyo na makakaasa na yun na may isang waray-waray dyan sa Senado. Sana matuloy na at tulungan na lang. Thank you.